Southern Africa boasts one of the most diverse wildlife sanctuaries on the continent. A haven dedicated to the world's largest land mammal. The protection of elephants has created a vast wilderness sanctuary, encompassing land and sea. It is home to a variety of life, including some of the world's most formidable predators. This unique collection of animals and plants face a daily struggle for survival, battling the elements and each other. Addo Elephant National Park lies on Africa's southern coast and forms a wild corridor extending from the ocean into the interior. It extends across 1,800 square kilometers, South Africa's third largest national park. In the south, rugged coastal islands rise from the sea home to hundreds of thousands of seabirds. They are surrounded by warm waters teeming with life and bordered by a wild shore where lush forests meet desolate dunes. North is a vast dry interior with great plains, stretching to the Seerberg Mountains and a parched thirstland beyond. Addo is a land of contrasts where plants and animals must adapt to harsh conditions to survive. The animal that lives in the center of this landscape is at the heart of Addo's story. The African elephant once ranged right across southern Africa, but in the 19th century, the ivory trade decimated the population. By 1931, there were just 11 elephants left in this part of South Africa, and something had to be done. Land was set aside to provide sanctuary to these last survivors, and Addo Elephant Park was born. It was a vital lifeline. Since then, Addo's elephants have gone from strength to strength. There are now 600 living here, all descended from the first pioneers. But their narrow escape has left its mark. Unlike elephants in other parts of Africa, more than 90% of Addo's females are tuskless. Normally used for defense, shows of dominance and for digging, here they must do without them. The reason is that, by chance, the original 11 animals did not carry the gene for tusk growth. Despite this, the females have not been handicapped. 
these herds have been extremely successful. With high birth rates, the population is booming. Addo now boasts one of the highest densities of elephants in Africa. The park's heartland is a paradise for the majestic giants, with water holes dotted throughout the central plains. This herd has spent the coolest part of the morning feeding. But with temperatures heading above 40 degrees Celsius, they head for a water hole. Each elephant herd is led by the oldest female, the matriarch, and she guides her family on their quest for food and water. The youngsters are the most eager to get wet, and before they drink, give themselves a good splashdown. Elephants drink up to 75 liters of water a day. Cool mud helps reduce body temperature and also acts as an effective sunblock. But it can also be treacherous. Mothers must keep a careful watch. The water may be only shallow for an adult, but the babies can submerge themselves and the mud is deep in places. But for the calves, 